Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a splurge versus a save. I'm going to be talking about Sunday Riley Good Jeans with the lactic acid versus the ordinary lactic acid plus HA 2%. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk about the pricing. The Good Jeans is going to cost you for 1.7 ounce, $158 at Sephora. Whoa. Even with a discount of 15% or a 20% discount, that's still a lot of money um, to put out there for a skincare product. Whereas the ordinary lactic acid in the 10%, and that is $6.79 for a 30 ml. Now, granted, it would take two of those bottles to make one of the good jeans of the good jeans for $158, but you're still looking at $21 versus $158. So um, definitely the price difference there is uh, substantial. The ordinary um, skincare products are definitely below drugstore pricing. And you know, you can still kind of keep in mind that sometimes you get what you pay for. So let's kind of get into the little bit of the nitty gritty on the ingredients. And then at the end, I'll let you know if um, this is one of those times if you get what you pay for. Anyway, so let's kind of talk about the ingredients. Now, both of these um, claim that they have lactic acid in them. Now, I will tell you that the Good Genes claims to have 40%, but from my research and what I've been able to find, they only have, in reality, 5%. So it's kind of a little bit of a strike against the good jeans, kind of right out, right out the gate, other than the price, obviously. And let's kind of talk about ingredients. Now, we all know that when we look on the ingredient list that um, for a product to say, I have lactic acid in it. So you look on the ingredient list, you're like, okay, where is lactic acid at in the ingredients? Let's see, how much lactic acid do you really have in you? Because you all we know, we all know that sometimes when you look at an ingredient list, you know that one ingredient that the company is basing their entire campaign on is the last ingredient in the product. So you know it's very minuscule. Whereas on the Sunday Riley, there was probably I want to say about eight or nine ingredients and then the lactic acid. Whereas the ordinary had water and then it had lactic acid and then it had the rest of its ingredients. So um, the ordinary um, does have more lactic acid in it than the um, Sunday Riley. The Sunday Riley um, puts in a complex that they have created that's called the NV-5 which is supposed to detoxify, heal, and regenerate the skin. And it's combined or composed of some different botanicals. It has prickly pear, lady slipper orchid, um, cactus extract, aloe extract, yeast, and then the lactic acid. So that is what, when you, if you have used this product and you know that when you put it on at night and you wake up in the morning, you have beautiful glowing skin. And that is the property or the complex that causes that. Um, the lactic acid is just exfoliating the skin. Um, so when you use this product, you're not necessarily going to wake up with nice glowing skin, but you are going to notice that your skin is definitely more refined and not as um, textured as it was because it has exfoliated off some of that dead skin in the night. So that is a little bit of a, a difference between the two there. Um, they both exfoliate. This one just has a little bit more of some hydrating properties in it and some more um, skincare properties in it than what the lactic acid does. Also a difference between the two is the pH balance. The pH on the good genes is a point is 2.60, whereas the lactic acid is in the 10% is 3.8 and in the 5% is 3.6. Now studies and claims and scientifically proven has 
uh, proven to us that the proper pH level for an acid to work is anywhere between three and four. So the good genes is a little bit low, um, almost meets that lowest threshold, but not quite. Whereas the lactic acid in the um, the 10% is almost over the threshold, but not quite. So it's kind of right there in between. Another um, point to make about the ordinary, the lactic acid, is that the decium has gone in to explain that um, the pKa level of a product should be around 3.8, which the pKa is the acid availability and it should be around the 3.8, where in the ordinary it is right at 3.8. And that is um, an ideal balance between the salt and the acidity of the acid, which maximizes the effect of the acid with um, reducing the irritation. This also has in it some Tasmanian pepperberry, that pepperberry extract that kind of helps as a buffer between your skin and the lactic acid. So it does kind of help buffer it just a tad bit. So, um, what do I say at the very end about should you splurge or should you save? Well, I'm going to say, based on what I have found from the reviews, based on my own experience with the product, I feel I get the exact same results from each product um, with the exception of having the glowy skin, you don't get that with this, but I can always put on a hydrating serum that's going to give me glowing skin. Um, it's not worth it to me to spend the extra $115 to get the glowy skin of the morning when I can get something else that is a lot less expensive than that to have glowy skin. Um, Masking, I'm telling you, masking will help with the glowing skin on oh, my back itches. Anyway, so also I want to put out there that I wouldn't purchase the Good Jeans um, lactic acid from Sunday Raleigh for another reason that I have just found out, and that is because the I also wanted to mention that the Good Jeans that I just found out. The preservative that they use for this product is formaldehyde. So um, again, that's going to be another reason why I'm not going to repurchase this product is for that reason. So my overall consensus of the product is to skip the good genes, go right to the ordinary, and get the lactic acid. Um, if you are kind of apprehensive about it, um, start with the 5% and then you can work your way up to the 10%. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed and that you learned something and we'll talk to you soon.